there is three dimensions of the glory of God. We have our body, our soul, and our spirit. The body speaks of the outer court, the soul speaks of the inner court, and the spirit speaks of the holies of holies. In the inner court, what matters there? The seven lamps, seven candlesticks, which speaks about the giftings and the operations of the Holy Spirit. When you get into that dimension of God, you now begin to operate by the giftings. Yes, there are men who operate that way. They need the gift to be operational and functional on them to minister. Then you get to the final dimension, which is the holies of holies. At that level, what matters is what the glory, the influence of a presence. Therefore, we can conclude that the glory of God is in three major dimensions. Number one is the inside. There is the glory in you. There is the glory on you. And then there is the glory around you. The glory in the inside of you can be resident there. The glory on you simply means there must be the operation of a physical touch. You must lay hands on the sick. You must make a contact with people for that glory to radiate in them. Then there is the one called the glory around. He said, but we have this treasure in eighteen verses. That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. That's why the Bible calls us what fragrance of Christ. You understand what a fragrance is? It goes beyond the person that is sprayed on. It begins to affect even what? The atmosphere. That's the dimension of God that will shake this nation. That's the dimension of God that will shake such that you sit with a witch in a car and she loses the ability to be a witch. 